Oath Keeper, it got asked for, and thankfully it got asked for because I did not know which exotic I was going to do, but I do have an idea of the next exotic I'm going to be doing, which is probably going to be the Bombardiers. So if you guys do want to get your exotic out there, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to add it to the list because, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of exotics and some thematic videos as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help the algorithm because let me tell you, man, not posting content regularly messes up your content and your view, your analytics in general. So pretty wild, but yeah, I'd appreciate all that stuff. You guys have been killing it and I appreciate y'all and let's just get into it. So Oathkeeper is an interesting exotic in the fact that we have two bows that I could really think of people really utilizing this exotic, although there is a third one, but it's not really that great for PVP. Uh, I'm specifically talking about PVP because I feel like that's the best place for it because indefinite or uh, holding your, your bow indefinite in PVE is like whatever's to be quite honest. So for PVP, I mean, Wish Ender would be a really good one because then at that point you have infinite wall head wall hacks and you have your bow charged up so let's say something comes up on you you can just immediately shoot it another one that's pretty good is the lay monarch lay monarch would be really gross with your bow just held indefinite because that means you're really ready for everything and yeah i think those two are the only ones that like you can really benefit from using it uh in pve i think this exotic is like very mid tier like probably bottom tier to be quite honest because holding your bow indefinitely is like not needed to be quite honest so for me this is definitely a pvp exotic but let me know what you guys think in the comments below i definitely love the exotic look wise because it looks amazing speaking of which let's look into the exotic itself the look of the exotic is pretty good i really really love the scales on the forearm or at the bottom of the fore or the bottom of the bicep i think that looks really cool the fact that we have scales there is really cool i wish we had more armor that utilize scales more because we don't have a lot specifically for the hunter and even the ones that we do have one of them is the the nemean cuirass which is on the actual arms themselves so you won't ever see them but the other one is the boots from the cabal set from season of the i don't want to say chosen season of the risen i think it is uh there is some scales on the boots but it's very obscured so it's unfortunately just not viable for this uh, until we get actual scale armor that you can actually see like this, then, I mean, it's not that big a deal, honestly. Like, I just would like to see it. The unfortunate part about this armor set is the fact that the only color that doesn't change color from this is the actual gem on the forearm. Uh, as you guys can see right now from the shaders, you guys can see that the blue purple does not change color. That, ch that ch color is there forever. There are some shaders that will like have a hint of another color but just a hint, nothing too crazy. And be aware that when you are actually in first person and playing with the game or playing with this arm, that when you hold your bow, the, act the actual ch uh, color changes and it actually lights up, which is pretty cool. So I wouldn't revolve around your whole exotic around that color. Just be aware that that color is there. Uh, shader wise, it looks amazing. It takes shaders really well, aside from the gem on the forearm. It, pretty much with any shader it's going to look really good and it doesn't really have any off colors at least not from what i've noticed a lot of them are changing shaders as how you want them to be which is very fortunate and yeah i don't think there is any off color pieces for this the pathfinder's helmet because i think the pathfinder's helmet is like a must for this set the jensen knight caress because i want to have that knight look the virtuous strides because again it gives off that knightly look which is what i'm looking for and then the abyss walker cloak specifically because i i wanted a little bit more glow in this set and i like the bow a lot and uh, to be quite honest if i'm using the oath keepers i'm gonna be using a, my void set with it because i'm gonna be using lay monarch usually so this is the set i came up with i really like it uh you know a lot of people are gonna be like amethyst veil vale, oh my god her um it is what it is. I The reason I picked Amethyst Veil is because it gives me a really dark purple for the glow, but it also has a really good like black and blue compared to other purple glows that are really good purple glows, but I'm not a big fan of the colors. Specifically, like the Bergusian Night Shader is a really good shader. It's just unfortunate that I don't want too much purple on this set. 
Grand Luster is another great shader for purple glows, but it also does have glow, so just or gold, so just be aware of that. And I didn't want to have too much glow gold in this set because I didn't want the gold to take away from everything else, which was basically the gold or specifically the glow and the like bow in the back. And because I wanted to have like just a night look. So that's pretty much why I chose the pieces that I chose. Although to be fair, Grand Luster would probably be a better choice because the gold doesn't take too much away aside from the helmet. But other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, just to really show you real quick what I mean. This is Grand Luster. This is how it looks. I think it looks fine. It looks okay. I think I'm just overthinking it a little bit. And honestly, you probably would switch to Grand Luster because it's a good purple. It really is a good purple. It, it goes well with the bow in the back. And I do think it looks better than Amethyst Veil, vale, if I'm being quite honest. It's just that I already made the thumbnail and I'm not going to change the thumbnail. So I'm going to stick with Amethyst Veil. Vale. And for Burguzi, for, for Burguzi and Knight, uh, there's a few problems with it. First and foremost, um, it's just too much purple for me um if there was a little bit more of this blue color like maybe on the sides right here and then maybe on the cloth like if everything wasn't purple i think i would use this a lot more and the fact that the cloak actually has you have to switch to the helmet yeah uh the helmet some pieces and the helmet or the cloak has the off color of Burguzian Knight, which is this really weird like crumbly uh rose gold which isn't bad it's just that um i don't know like it doesn't look terrible like let me just let me just say that right off the bat it does not look terrible it's just i feel like it takes away too much from the whole set so yeah hundred let me know what you guys think in the comments below i like i said i personally really like this set and this is probably the set i would actually be using because there is an ornament for it called the unyielding which is it's cool i can't let me just get this out the way it looks really cool uh my only gripe with it is it has two pieces uh that don't change color Specifically, the arm, the elbows have this yellow like wrap, does not change color. The forearm has like, this red moon, doesn't change color. And what's even more funny is the red actually doesn't bother me. Like it doesn't bother me because it's actually a part of the exotic uh, perk thing. Uh, when remember how the first ornament or the default look has the the, pur the purple glow thing? Well, this one the red actually does change color and the glow does switch out. So the red doesn't bother me because of that, even though it technically should still be bothering me. My main gripe is the yellow wrapping on the elbow. I think it's terrible. Um, maybe it's an oversight. Maybe someone was like, I'm going to leave my fucking fingerprint in this set and the, ye ye the yellow's it. And I'm just like, it's terrible. It makes the exotic worse because now on top of having red on your forearms, you have this really shitty yellow that you're going to have to either match or just ignore it. And I'm personally not of the mindset that I can ignore a sh like a color, usually, especially a really nasty yellow. As for how it shaders, like I said, it shaders pretty well. Unfortunately, the only thing that don't change color are the fucking yellow and the red. That's really it. Uh, I think all of the colors look amazing, specifically like uh, Sato Tribe looks pretty dope with it. I think personally, Echo Anger looks probably the best with it, but it's just very unfortunate that we have this situation where it's like, now I have to work around these two sh two stupid colors. Although red, I didn't work around because I don't feel like red's that big of an issue because red's fine. Red's usually fine and specifically because it's on the arms and they're symmetrical. It, to me, it's like, well, they're symmetrical already because there's two sides on them. So it doesn't really bug me that much. Although you can sprinkle some red in there if it really does bug you. Uh, as for the example side, let's just get into it. I ended up using a few things. So a lot of people are going to look, be look, looking at this and be like, what? Why does this look weird? Like, it looks kind of weird. I understand that. Let me tell you my thought process before you start judging. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was use leather pieces no no plate armor in this set because the arms don't have plate armor all of it is pure leather which is something i actually do like my problem is the hunter hunters don't have a lot of leather armor pieces which is unfortunate and the other problem is the fact that that the few pieces of armor that we do have that's just leather is not like up to par with the arms so all of this just saying this looks fine to me like i would probably wear this if i had probably had a better chest piece 
Although now that I look at it, I could probably just switch out to the Abyss Walker vest, which would probably be a good set to put with this. I'll probably I'll show you guys what I mean uh, at the end. But for the armor set right now that we're looking at is the Superior Visions Cal. This is like one of my favorite helmets in the game right now because it gives off this like almost like like lower jawbone look for the hunter. Like the only thing you can see is the lower jaw, which is super cool. For the chest piece, we're using the Outlander's uh, heart. It's an old ornament. This is from Destiny 2 Vanilla, I think. Yeah, uh, Red War, which is super old. So now we get to the point where it's like, some people might not even have this because this is from Red War. Although I don't know if blues from Red War still drop, but if it does, then you can use this. For the boots, we're using the Pathfinder's leg guards because Again, I don't want to use any pieces that have plate armor, with the exception being the kneecaps. But other than that, there's there's almost no plate armor in this set. And then for the cloak, we're using the Canis Luna cloak because uh, just I, it's like one of my favorite cloaks in the game. It's definitely a crutch that I use, but I think it looks really good with this set. So now that you guys have seen this set and have heard my reason as to why I'm using certain pieces, let's actually delve into like maybe some different things we could do because as you guys can see this is how my hunter should be looking and the chest piece i like it a lot if if i wasn't using the shader i probably would love it even more maybe it's the shader maybe it's the fact that shadow guilt just looks weird on it because the it's not enough bl like black it's not dark enough i guess we could do something like this maybe which immediately i already like like this already made it better because it's darker so we're gonna put abyssinian gold on it but the other thing is we could probably use this one right here, this chest piece. The only problem here is that the purple glow would probably bug me a lot. Like I would want something else that has a purple glow. So at that point, I probably wouldn't use this. But then you get to the problem of like, well, I was thinking about using this one. Um, actually, let's just show you like the, the set that I had before I switched stuff out because uh, just to show you guys, because again, these arms are very finicky and annoying. So I might as well show you guys like what I was trying to do. So this is the first one I tried to do. And don't get me wrong. I think it looks cool, but I think the chest piece and the boots look way too um, tactical for the arms. Because I feel like the arms look a little like um, majestic, almost like ephemeral, uh, if I'm using that word correctly. Like... It looks like something a warrior from like a fantastical universe would wear, not this chest piece and boots that look like something a soldier in the battlefield would use. So that's why I was like, I like it, but at the same time, I don't like it. So I think this the uh, the Pathfinder's leg guards it's probably the best choice for this chest piece or for the for the set. But then we get to pieces like I did try like maybe this one, but I didn't like it at all because of just looks weird so i think this one's gonna be the best choice because i do like the fact that it got darker i think that looks better overall so hunters let me know what you guys think in the comments below this one was rough i'm not gonna lie to you guys because the arms are just very unwieldy which is pretty funny it, it's honestly the fact that the the elbows just have this really gross yellow color to them uh, if, if if it didn't have that i think it would be fine i think it would look cool actually but it's the fact that the yellow doesn't change color. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. Uh, commenter, hopefully you liked the video. Um, I did try to give you a little bit more at the end of each set, but let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me, again, links are in the description below. Thank you guys. You guys are wonderful and awesome, and I'll see you all later.